Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to be using embossing powder under epoxy. I was inspired by Ivy Pink Made from Instagram. She uses embossing powder to make all kinds of cute things and her profile in general is super inspirational because everything is so light, bright, and beautiful. It can really give you some ideas for your projects. Anyway, so I saw her making a card with embossing powder and I thought I wonder if you could use that under epoxy so I ran to Hobby Lobby and got some embossing powder the stamp that you need to and grab this board as well I didn't have the exact paint color that I needed so I just mixed a bunch of my flipping awesome paints from the crystal light company to create the color that I needed to match my glitter which was really hard to pick out by the way. We ended up using Mulberry. However, I did have these other three sitting on my table, so I figured I would show those to you as well. Killer Queen, Empire State, and Bordeaux were all three really tough competitors in trying to find the perfect glitter for this. And honestly, I feel like if I would have went with a solid glitter, our embossing powder would have showed up a little bit more so do keep that in mind when you're choosing your glitter colors since you can't put an offset set in behind this embossing powder you're going to want to pick a glitter that's not super flashy or has so much dimension in it that way the embossing powder really does pop out from your project now the glitter color that we are using for the top portion of this board really does not need a base so Rather than ombreing two colors, I just painted the bottom half with my custom mix of paint and then went and wet my brush. Started right at the top of where that first color ended and ombreed that color up into that natural wood. Once that was dry, I used a couple milliliters of fast set epoxy to apply a very thin layer to the top of this board. You want to apply it just as you would on a tumbler if you were applying chunky glitter. I'm just being extra careful not to pull the epoxy over the side. And also whenever I finish spreading this all around, I'm just going to take my gloved hand and dab it all around the board so that it gives it a little bit of texture and takes out any lines that I may have created when spreading this epoxy out. Of course we are using mulberry for the bottom portion and for the top we are using another Brittany Barnes Boutique custom mix, Ava Grace. Ava Grace is my daughter and she helped me mix this one so what a better name than her name for it. I'm just going to come about three inches down that handle pretty heavy with the glitter coverage and then I'm going to stand the board up so I'm holding it at an angle and ombre that glitter down into our plum purple at the bottom. And as long as you get that first color great, you can just dump the second color on there and it will fall off, all the excess will fall off and you'll have a beautiful ombre. This board is, I mean, obviously a little more difficult to hold up from the bottom side. So that's exactly what we did. I just dumped mulberry on and knocked off the excess and we were left with a beautiful ombre. To eliminate having to put so many layers of epoxy onto this glitter, I'm going to take a sheet of notebook paper and very carefully rub that glitter down. You can also just take this board and completely flip it over face down on a level and flat surface. So you can put your notebook paper on the table or a piece of parchment table, 
flip the board over and just give it a little pressure and that's also going to push the glitter down. Once that is dry, I'm going to seal that with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat just to make sure that our glitter does not shift and we keep our beautiful ombre and then give it one coat of epoxy or until smooth. After that epoxy layer is dry, then add on another layer of matte clear coat. It must be matte or your embossing powder is going to stick all over your glossy epoxy and it will be a hot mess. So make sure you do spray seal with a matte clear coat before you do your embossing powder. I grabbed this stamp pad, which was almost dried up from Hobby Lobby. That's why I'm having to dab the stamp on here so many times. There was only enough saturation on the ends of the stamp pad to cover this big stamp. Anyway, so we're gonna have to stamp this a couple of times. So I'm going in the middle first being very careful not to move it around after I have placed it on my board. It is clear, so it's gonna be hard to see, but again, with that matte clear coat, you will be able to see the glossiness of, of course, the embossing liquid that we are stamping on here. This stuff would be really, really cool to use for like the outlines of geodes, on tumblers, boards, or you can even get the small stamps and use them on tumblers for accents as well. So all you have to do is take that powder and dump it on, knock off all the excess. You cannot brush it off. If you brush it off, you have that liquid underneath your embossing powder and it's just gonna rub everything off. You have to heat it up first. So normally you would use a heat gun for this. However, I have a very low heat heat gun. They do have the proper ones to use on the same aisle in Hobby Lobby as the embossing powder, but I didn't know I would need a new one and I had my torch. So I just decided to try since it gives out high heat and it did the trick. So you have to move really, really fast if you're using your torch. That way you don't burn your embossing powder, but you just want to heat it up until it turns into what looks like full rather than the powder. And then once that cooled off, I went in with a layer of epoxy. Once that layer of epoxy dried, I went in and sanded all around the top of the board as well as the edges so that there weren't any little pokey pieces on the edge of the board. I did apply a little bit too much pressure when putting on my epoxy and using a facet, it really didn't have time before it cured to level itself out. So I did get some waves in this layer. So all I did was grabbed this little hand sander and level sanded the top. And then I went back in with some 220 grit to get those marks and grooves out and then sand around the edges so they're nice and smooth. If you happen to have any big chunks or streaks of epoxy that have fall fail over the side of your board all you have to do is take your heat gun heat up that specific area and then use your craft knife to scrape off that excess epoxy After I had finished sanding everything smooth, I dried this board off really well and then allowed it to sit for a couple of hours so all of that moisture would release from the wood or dry up from the wood and then added on my final layer of epoxy.
really love how this turned out and I'm glad that I experimented with this embossing powder. I definitely want to use it on a tumbler to see how it turns out as some accents. Again, I do wish that I would have used a more, I want to say flat glitter, but <laughs> a solid color glitter on the bottom side of this so that that embossing detail would stand out more. But I do think that this did turn out beautiful. As always, all of the materials that I used in this tutorial will be listed down below. I did get the embossing powder and stamp pad from Hobby Lobby. However, I will find some online that has good reviews and list those down below for y'all as well. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this tutorial. Hit the bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and... We'll see you next time.